Good morning, Fall City Middle School. It is Wednesday, August 26th, and I am here with help from... Taylor Moore. Taylor Moore. She's here to help me out. Got 10 Tiger tickets. So she's going to help me with the announcements today. Taylor, what are we doing? The Pledge of Allegiance. All right, so stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, Taylor, what's on the agenda today? Whose birthday is it? Happy birthday to Chase Simpson. Um, Happy birthday, Bart. Uh, for lunch today we have pizza um, lettuce salad, mixed fruit, chocolate pudding, and milk. Uh, and reminder, picture day is on Friday the 28th. Yep, so don't forget your picture envelopes if you want your picture taken. That's on Friday. I have a few announcements for you as well. First of all, um, we've had some trouble at lunch recess with wrestling and mainly talking well i'm totally talking about some boys wrestling playing tag and then running into the hallway and playing tag in, in the hallway so here's the thing i need all of you to listen especially my sixth graders and some seventh graders if you can't handle recess we just take it away because it's kind of an extra thing um so make sure that you are doing it the right way when recess is over it needs to stop if teachers continually tell me that you're running in the hall during that fourth period, um, I just take away your recess and the kids that can handle it get it. So please don't make us do that. Um, I want you to have that time to run around. I think you need that time, but you need to use it responsibly. And with that, that's all I have for those kind of things. Our AOK -okay of the day, I got two nominees this time. Uh, the first one is from Mr. Kraft. Uh, he's giving a shout out to Leo Lenderman. Leo is always helping him clean up, hangs up the jump ropes, does all kinds of good stuff. And Mr. Kraft wanted to make sure that we are recognizing Leo for doing awesome stuff in the building. So, Leo, good work, man. You helped Mr. Kraft clean up? Sometimes. What? It should be all the time. Come on. There we go, Taylor. So, Taylor's going to try to beat out Leo now. And then the second one is for Sophie Kirkendall. Miss Boatwright uh, wanted to give a shout-out to Sophie because... She's super awesome at cleaning tables, does it without even asking, helping her classmates out, and keeping the tables clean so nobody gets the COVID. So thank you, Sophie. Do you help clean tables? I put the chairs away in Mr. Milam's class. Nice. All right. Now you just got to do it for Miss Boatwright or get Miss Milam to nominate you for an AOK. -okay. You hear that, Miss Milam? Taylor's calling you out. All right. So with that, that's all my announcements for today. Now for your words of wisdom. Have you ever thought about being an astronaut? or a lawyer, or a doctor, and then said to yourself, I could never do that. I'm not smart enough, or I'm not good enough. You've never thought that, have you? Mm -hmm. Good job. Yeah, she's way too smart to be any of those. All right? So, listen to Carbon Escalante's Prescription for Success. Success. Nothing is impossible if one sets goals, strives for, and does his or her best. So, who is Carmen Escalante? She's a medical doctor who was raised in a small town in Louisiana and was the oldest of six children. How many brothers and sisters you got? Mm, three. Three? Two brothers and one sister. Oh, okay. So you got a ways to go to catch six. Neither of her parents graduated from high school, but they always encouraged her to get an education. Dr. Escalante listened to her parents. Listened to her parents. Today, she holds a very important position at one of the world's most famous cancer centers. This is what she tells young people. You can do whatever you want to. Nothing is impossible. So listen to the doctor's advice and follow her pres prescription for success. If you do, anything is possible. You believe that? All right. So have a great day from Taylor and Mr. Bangert, and I will see you tomorrow.